guys know about science? Not a great deal to be honest with you, not as much as you would think. I know it's important and without it we wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't be viewing this for likes of your biology, your chemistry, everything else I've been in math, maths even because we are English. Um, but anyway guys, we're here today, this is the Science Museum, this is the second part in a series of vlogs we're going to do this area in South Kensington. We'd already done the Natural History Museum, so we're here today to do this. We've also got included a uh, Epic Adventure into Science Fiction, which is a paper event which is actually taking place here. We'll add that as a separate vlog, and then at a later date we'll do the DNA to sort of finish this area. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy this. Let's go. Looks like something out of a James Bond movie. Many people have asked the question of did man land on the moon? I believe he did, but probably not when they said it. I think it might be something that happened after the projected time. That is seriously an impressive piece of kit. I don't know how many tonne that weighs, but it's beautiful. not seen a proper steam fair about in years. One used to turn up at Whipsnade and all these engines would just turn up, park on the grass, nine times out of ten get stuck because of the weight of them. But they are beautiful. Early flight. I haven't got a clue on the name, but the only names of the plane of that year I know of is easy. Sopworth Camel etc. I don't know what that actually is, but it could be one of those. The old time, the old wing walkers. That's an experience I do not want to try. An impressive big bird there. Reminds us with all the science that goes with flight. The Wright brothers, Amelia Earhart, all of those. Without those, we would not get to the destinations that we enjoy. Those of you who love going back to falls to Spain, ourselves who love going to Florida without the early pioneers and the scientists that went before them everything that we love today does not exist I'm not sure if that's a Model T available in any colour as long as it's black Sort of the transition between when those would go from riding a horse to travelling in a car. Even back in the old western times or the transition of the western times, you had an earlier form of car, but nothing as impressive as that. Stack of cars there reminds me of when I was a child and you'd get your boxes of your cars in a set, in a box, all of them segmented off. But they're not toys, they're actually real. There's a bug there, a beetle, I believe it's a Morris Minor. Citroen 2CV. I'm not sure on the one that toys that Hillman Imp possibly.
two, three, possibly even four guys would get into that, do their mission, and on its way down to earth, land in the sea, to be picked up, and hopefully not eaten by sharks. does make me think that at some point in my lifetime a trip to Kennedy Space Station has definitely got to be on the agenda. Never been in all these years of going to Florida but seeing stuff like this it makes me think you know what I'm at that age now it's about time I did. An iron lung, how they would have kept people alive. There's still, I believe, one guy today surviving living in one. He spent his entire life from a youngster in one of those. All you ever see is his head. Shocking, really. And that's what it does pumps the air. What a beautiful bit of kit that is. That is an old horse drawing, horse drawn even, Royal Mailbox. Wonder how many highwaymen they met over the years. What I was trained in when I left school. I done my sitting guilds in Reaper Graphics and I was a life printer and then I went into silk screen. But that is a very early era one. I remember the old Heidelbergs that they used to have at Neen College. Forever breaking down and covering everyone in dust. This is the sort of boat that my ancestors travelled to start their lives in New York on. the most famous one of that era would have been the Titanic. The old penny farthing bicycles here. Obviously part of an original lighthouse. And you like to go in there and turn around, signalling danger to all the seamen. The old horse and carriage. It does make me think that something that I found on by the side of the old railway lines, the old knobby line between Linford and Newport Pagnall, yeah, but they have very much this sort of, I suppose you could call it like gearing and wheels. Still not sure whether it was an old bathing chair or a plow or an old carriage like this or something to do with the railway itself, but the wheels were very much like that. Some technology still stands the test of the time. There's not a lot of difference between the working of that and a modern day one, just that it's more boxy, electronically operated. That was probably pneumatic. See, these are going to be your early laves. Sure we had something in my dad's old garage years ago, it's called like a Swayze machine. Very similar to that, you clamp it down and it'd leave like a welt mark. He'd use it for making his medieval armour. Various presses and steam locomotive type things. What they would specifically do, I'm not sure. I mean that's not the rocket, but it looks like the rocket. It's pretty impressive and very, very old.
And that is what one of your satellites will look like. Hmm. I wonder where they got the idea from the Death Star from. So that is the question. Was Telstar the inspiration behind the Death Star? Very, very similar. Just saying a rage, I've seen them go around on cars before, but never on a bush bike. It's pretty laughable where we've come from. The old technology, how small the screens were, that would probably be typing in green lettering on that screen to where we are modern day it doesn't even bear thinking about and this is probably what we're talking maybe up to 40 years ago now before that everything we see and do today including me vlogging you picking up the phone because that's that basically how the communication happens it's all done through phone lines etc to go through to you connecting one to another none of that exists without all the technology that we had and it makes you wonder what technology we will have we've already got some of these watches where you've got the telephone on your watch maybe there won't even be a phone as such in the future maybe everything will be done on your arm, similar to like your, your Disney wristbands to get into the parks. You can even keep your room with your room key as being that now, pay with them. So things that we see as basically fun and adventurous, going to theme parks in Florida, maybe that is the way that we will go forward as an existence. And as I said, monetary wise, the actual cash in your pocket, soon will probably disappear and everything will be done via an online currency. All these phones look so modern yet they're probably all at least maybe 10, 15 years out of date now. having it full of foreign weights I've never come across anything like that before I've seen these the little brass little weights before but obviously different cities, different countries had their own version if that were to fail all of these to London would be probably 10 feet underwater Some serious old computer work there. Kind of remember shortly after that period, that's a little bit before my time with working with computers, etc. That probably goes really early 80s. That is a seriously beautiful model of a pirate ship. Eh? All to do with the maths and the calculation. How they would have done navigation. For those of you who joined us when we done Bletchley Park, basically that is an Enigma machine. It's basically a portable typewriter machine that leaves a message now the idea of Bletchley Park and the code breakers was to decipher those they had a larger machine called the bottom and it was take up a room and it would break down the messages these are what your your messages were carrying about the motorcycles etc during the war and encrypted code 
and you look at the size of this and think what the actual to scale size thing would be it's quite outstanding i mean look helicopters that thing is enormous couple of dueling pistols there by the looks of it couple of early flintlock muskets the old microscope a lot of these things are pretty much just sort of saying what we see regards to science unless it's sort of the likes of your Einstein Stephen Hawking's uh, Isaac Newton Bill Nye the science guy or Emmett Brown from Back to the Future this is pretty much a myth to me I was expecting a lot of test tubes to be honest with you and a lot of mathematical equations I do a lot of work with lots of Q etc E equals MC squared all that sort of kind of thing but it's quite fascinating a lot of this technology all to do with your explorers from your bygone era your telescopes how they would map things back in the day Bear in mind, a lot of people from that era probably felt, or thought, should I say, that the Earth was flat. But it was down to the scientists of that era to turn around and say otherwise. Some fantastic clocks. But just look at that, all wood. And probably glass optics either side of it. And these how you map out your destinations throughout the world that we take for granted for today if it wasn't for these guys whose technology and science helped the likes of Walter Riley, Christopher Columbus etc you soon find the guys like ourselves who love going to Florida and those who live in Florida those who travel from the UK and Ireland back in the early days None of it would not have existed without science. Everyday objects we take for granted, like our modern day watch, all started from maybe a pocket watch or a clock years ago. And as I said, without science, it doesn't exist. And no, I do not fancy walking around with a sundial on my arm. There is one that Rushmere Park, County Park, I've done a vlog there before and I've walked around a big large one and they actually do work. I was actually shocked by that you stand at the centre stone area, the shadow that's cast upon your body that forms on another rock depicted in a clock face and that tells you what time it is. be a thing in the past soon with everyone going totally cashless if you've ever loved your train sets you'd certainly love one of these I bet they're costing a few bob though Some of these models must be priceless. We 
this is kind of our early era. I remember I did have a chopper, it was in blue. Favourite bike I had was a Grifter, which came out the same sort of time as your early BMXs, way before your mountain bikes. But this is sort of technology that we was used to receiving in the 70s, 80s, 90s. It all looks so obscure now to what we've got. Flymo. <laughs> early computer. Anyone remember when you used to pay with your Visa or your MasterCard and you used to have this white machine? Give you your old counter foil at the end of it. So the screen there at the back. Your early microwaves. Your turntables. Look at the old TVs up there. I remember we used to go and hire a TV from Granada. We've got a TV dinner there. And those calculators. Wow, yeah. A lot of the early stuff. Early Lego. Early cameras even at the back there. Tapes, cassette tapes. Wow. Guys, that was the Science Museum. One thing for sure, I think you've got to go in there and pick a specific topic because it is absolutely enormous otherwise you're going around like a headless chicken i mean we found some plenty of things that was interesting to look at but the place itself was huge and it's just starting to get a bit gnarly now there's, there's, there's too many people there it is a saturday um, obviously for ourselves when we paid we've got a two together traveling things so there's just a train option the actual museum itself is free to get in but you have to book in advance you just get online book your tickets don't have to pay for them and that gives you a booking stop because there's so many people that actually want to go into these places nowadays. but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it that was a brief look at it i don't know how brief it was yet so i haven't put this together yet but hope you enjoyed that and obviously the little add-on which is a side vlog to this of the sci-fi bit discovering the science behind that and with that guys yeah. Yeah. enjoy the rest of your weekend coming up next i believe it's going to have an easy day at the zoo next week so just a, a walk and a talk with our animal friends enjoy the rest of your weekend see you in the movies bye for now